Hi, in this particular video we're going to be looking at probability trees, which is quite a popular type of question within GCSE maths. Uh, there's about uh, three or four videos within this playlist, so please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, and then compare your solutions. Okay, so the first one is, it says a coin is biased when it's thrown. The probability it lands on heads is three out of four five or three fifths. So for every five throws, this coin is going to land on heads three fifths of the time. And then it says complete the probability tree diagram if John throws the coin twice. OK, so what they've given you is the first throw. And what it says is that three out of five times it lands on heads. So therefore, for it to land on tails, it must be two out of five times okay let's have a look then at the second throw well the second throw is going to be absolutely the same in that it doesn't matter about the outcome of the first throw the second throw is still going to be heads and tails and heads and tails and it's still going to be three out of five two out of five three out of five Two out of five. Now, the reason I've done it twice is because it's independent of the first outcome. So the first outcome is heads, and then I've either got heads or a tails on the second throw. Similarly with this one, the first outcome is a tails. The second throw is either a heads or a tails again. OK, so therefore I've got now what are called outcomes and outcomes will give me the ability to answer the second part of the question. So let's look at the outcomes. OK, so the outcomes with the first two throws could be heads and then we follow the branch across and heads again. OK, and then the second one would be heads and then tails. So that one would be heads and tails. OK, the third one then would be tails and then follow the branch. And I've got heads. So this would be tails and heads. And then finally, tails and tails. So I can write that as TT. OK, and the question is, find the probability that the coin lands on heads both times. So in other words, what we're interested in is this probability of heads, heads. OK, well, the probability of it landing on heads, first time is three fifths, second time is three fifths. And what we do is we multiply across the branches. So it's going to be heads, heads is going to be three over five multiplied by three over five. And that's going to give us nine out of 25, which is the answer to the question. OK. Part C of the question is find the probability that the coin lands on heads or tails. And the key word here is at least once. So the probabilities that we're interested in are going to be the first one, because that's at least once. It happens to be twice, but it's at least once. We're also interested in that one and that one, because this is heads and this is heads, but we're not interested in the last one. So let's look at the probabilities First, well, we've already got heads, heads, so we can write that. That's absolutely fine. I'm just going to copy it, OK, um, just so that we've got completeness. Now, what I suggest you do is at the moment, I'm not going to reduce any of the fractions. I can't with that one anyway, but I'm not going to reduce any of the fractions because at the end of it, we're going to add them up. OK, so the next one I was interested in was heads, tails. OK, so it's going to land on heads once. So again, we look across and I've got three fifths multiplied by two fifths. OK, so heads, tails is going to be three fifths multiplied by two fifths, which is going to give us six twenty fifths. All right. The final one that I'm interested in is going to be tails heads, which is this one here. So I've got tails is going to be two fifths and heads is going to be three fifths. OK, so tails heads. Oops. <laughs> and tails heads is going to be two fifths multiplied by three fifths. OK, and again, that's going to give me six twenty fifths. OK, hopefully you can see that. OK, 
So there we are at the bottom. Therefore, the total probability is going to be the sum is going to be adding up this one, this one and this one. So 9 add 6, add 6 is going to be 21. So it'd be 21 out of 25 would be the answer to that part of the question. OK, I hope that's been OK to you uh, for you. Please do add a comment if you're not sure about anything. Um, have a look at the other videos within this particular playlist. And I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.